Hey everyone, this is Kevin Shriver from Your Pet Business Now. Hope you guys are doing exceptionally well. Thanks as always for watching. I had a question that came in the other day and someone asked about how to balance their professional social media and their personal social media. This person had uh, as a business page, things are going really well with their business, getting a lot of clients. And then on their social page, they had some real world experiences and I'll... Um, and uh, just keeping this as high level uh, without you know keeping things confidential they had some uh, high level experiences uh, excuse me they had some personal experiences um, that they wanted to share and they were passionate about with some of their hobbies and one of their hobbies was assisting people and working with people who had a certain type of uh, mental illness kind of a depression type of thing they had some experiences in their own world but they were also uh, encouraging people to grow past those in their personal world. It's a pretty noble cause. If you are working, any type of passion, I think, is, is totally awesome. And the, they were working in their spare time to assist people, just like if you would go to, a, you know, do some charity work on the weekends and go feed the homeless people, you know, something you could be passionate about. You're doing this and you're talking about this and you're trying to recruit other people into it to help make a positive change in your world. I think that's fantastic. And then they have their business where they're saying, do this with your dog, do this with your pet, here's how we can help. Well, what this person was really asking about was somebody else came into the world, personal acquaintance, relative slash relative, and they said to her, don't talk about this stuff on your personal side because it's going to turn off a lot of clients over here. And she got really upset by that uh, because she was like, oh my gosh, are people... You know, somehow, you know, it's easy to stalk somebody nowadays on the internet. Are they stalking me over here and then not deciding to work for me because I'm, you know, because I've talked about words such as depression and mental health over here. And she was concerned about that. And I have a couple thoughts, as I always do, about um, other people giving opinion. And this really video is really about how to deal with criticism that may happen. So it was a criticism. She is concerned about that somebody, you know, who's not, you know, is using her, is not going to be using her because of what she is writing in her personal life. So, a couple things with this. First of all, how to deal with criticism is uh, pr pretty, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You have to look at the person who's saying it. Are they a client? Are they, you know, is it one person? Is it a client? Is it all of your clients? Um, or is it just some random person on the street? Um, I really don't give much credit to anybody who's giving me opinions, especially business advice, um, if, unless they're clients. Like if they have paid for a service and I'm asking for feedback or they're giving me feedback, I listen to them because we are exchanging value and exchanging services. Um, you know, they're giving me money, I'm giving them a service uh, for taking care of their pet and their dog. Well, somebody that's not using your services, if they're just randomly walking down the street, and they're like, oh, you should walk the dog this way, or you should train the dog this way, or, you know. Guess what? That's not really, just somebody giving their opinion is not a professional. So you've got to reduce the weight of that comment, especially if it's a family member who has never taken care of an animal in their life. You should definitely, and if they've never even, greater than this, if they've never even run a business, you should. they should not be giving you business advice at all. Uh, so unless you are actually getting advice from clients that say, you know what, I am really concerned about what you're doing in your spare time or, you know, that's affecting you know, your work, I think that would be the bigger thing. If your personal life is affecting your business life, that's when it's something to, to work on. Obviously, you need to work on that disconnect between your personal life and your business life if that's preventing you from executing on your business world. It's okay to have passions. And it's okay to share them with clients if they bring it up. If clients say, you know what, oh, what do you do in your spare time? Or what do you think, you know, what do you do? Well, guess what? You can you can say to them, you know what, hey, in my spare time, I help people with working on depression and mental health. That's totally fine to do. Nobody is going to be upset with that. And you can even say, I'm passionate about this because when I first got out of college or whatever the, you know, whatever the situation is, I had to work on this, this, and this, and help me overcome this, and help me start to run my business, and that's why I'm really balanced in my business. So don't let your personal things distract you from uh, your, your business, and don't let, in particular, let people who are outside of both of those worlds uh, influence you. 
I would basically say this, um, in terms of getting opinions and criticisms from other people, in particular, if you are running a pet business, it's simply this. I would not hold much weight for people who give advice if they do not have a multi-million dollar pet business themselves. Simple as that. If they are, are don't have a business, don't know how to work with animals, and you know have no experience, and they're not your clients, guess what? Like you got to just let that go. And again, unless they have a multi-million dollar pet business, um, it's going to be really hard to take advice from outside outsiders about. And you should you know not put much weight on that because it's just they have no they have no experience and they have no no value to really help you. Uh, with some issue or something that they're seeing. So well-meaning, sometimes those well-meaning, well-intentioned relatives, um, I call them well-intentioned, but sometimes they come off as negative. You just got to let them go. Friends, same thing. Let them go. Do your thing. If you're passionate about something in your personal life, that is totally fine to do. Stick with it. Be passionate about it. And make sure you're doing a great job with your business as well. And if you're doing a great job with your business, nobody's really going to ask about your personal life. Um, you know, you'll have good relationships with clients and your better clients will connect with you a little bit more on that. But don't worry about that. They're not going to be bleeding and saying, well, what's going on in your personal life? Nobody really does that unless they're really, you know, great clients. You've got a great bond with them. That will come because you have a great business and a great business model and a great process to deliver value and help people solve their problems with their pet. If you guys have any questions, comments, or experiences on this topic, uh, please leave a comment below. I appreciate you guys liking, following, subscribing. Also make sure to follow on the Facebook page and also connect on the blog because I've got a lot of other great stuff and other articles um, on the website. This is Kevin Shriver from Your Pet Business Now. I appreciate you guys connecting and watching this video. Thanks as always for watching and have a great rest of the day.